The universe holds many secrets, a lot of which are still to be discovered. But some of the most important things we do know about it were discovered right here in Australia, thanks to this. This is the Parkes Radio Telescope, or the DISH as it's come to be known. It's located here in New South Wales, and this year marks 60 years of space research service. In the late 1940s and early 50s, radio astronomy, which is the study of radio waves from outer space, was taking off. Astronomers wanted to know more about the things in our galaxy and beyond. So the UK built an enormous radio telescope. And not wanting to be left behind, physicist Dr Edward George Bowen from the CSIRO said, hey, we need one of those in Australia too. So began years of design and construction. And by October 31st, 1961, the dish was ready to go. And when it was built, it was the, the second largest but most advanced radio telescope in the world. The Parkes telescope is essentially just a, a glorified radio antenna. But whenever you say telescope, um, the first thing everybody imagines is, uh, is something that you look through. But with our telescope, we detect the radio emissions, extremely weak, very feeble radio emissions from the stars. And by studying those radio emissions, scientists are able to learn way more about stars than by just looking at them. It's helped discover lots of things, like pulsars, which are compact stars the size of a city, but more dense than our sun. The Magellanic Stream, which is a huge cloud of gas arching over our Milky Way. And hundreds of whole new galaxies containing billions of stars, just to name a few. Also, closer to home, you know, the telescope is, is a near-ideal instrument for tracking spacecraft in deep space. And one of the telescope's most famous moments was doing just that. When the Apollo 11 mission touched down on the surface of the moon in 1969, the, eagle has landed. the Parkes telescope was responsible for receiving the signal from the lunar module and sharing it with 600 million people across the globe. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. Really the reason good. the Parkes Telescope was given this huge responsibility was not only because of its size or its sensitivity, but because of its location. It was built in the middle of a paddock, far away from any other radio signals that could have interfered with the transmission. It's just as useful today, although sometimes it picks up things that are a little harder to explain. Back in 2015, mysterious signals it picked up got people speculating about alien life. There are occasions when we detect signals um, that don't appear to be of, of natural origin. But it turned out to just be someone using a microwave in the staff kitchen. Oh. Aliens or not, the dish has come a long way from where it all began 60 years ago. And so the combined upgrades over the years have, have meant that the telescope today um, is over 10,000 times more sensitive than when it was built. And the upgrades are getting put to good use straight away. NASA say that from next year, it'll use the telescope to help with its Artemis program. That will eventually send humans back to the moon. It's the premier scientific instrument in Australia's history, still doing world-class science, still making great discoveries, and something that I think all Australians should be rightly proud of.